from trauma to emergency care this is world trauma talk and this is your host dr amar pyari makhalal johan hi i am dr amar pyari makhalal johan and today i am starting my world trauma talk podcast and this is episode number 1 I'm a practicing EM physician and medical innovator. I have designed mannequins for tra- training doctors in trauma care and they are being used all over India in courses like ATLS. Now, simulation education is yet to catch up in India outside of ATLS. I'm also a simulation educator from Boston, USA and very much interested in improving trauma and EM care in India, which according to recent niti ayog document is fragmenting and primitive today i will just talk about uh, trauma scenario in india and in next episode we will discuss the strategy the framework the outline for improving trauma care step by step starting from the pre hospital scenario which again is in shamble as only 3% of the paramedics present in ambulances are trained This is again a Niti Aayog project finding. So, without further ado, today's episode. So, before we talk about India trauma scenario, let's find out what's happening on the world front. Approximately 3,242 persons die every day worldwide. 50 million people are disabled or injured every year. Unfortunately, majority of the trauma survivors are either confined to hospital or wheelchair for rest of their lives. Now, coming to India, the effects are as follows. In India, approximately 1,54,732 persons died in 2020 according to Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. 17 persons are dying every hour on Indian roads as India is having the largest number of road death in the world according to WHO that is World Health Organization surprisingly India is having just 1% of the total motor vehicles of the world but bears 6% of global vehicle accident that's the burden 6% and those who are dying they are in the age group of 15 to 45 years of age they are healthy individuals they are not sick people suffering from disease and dying and this particular group are also the bread earner of the family so with one person death the whole family is shattered and they are the backbone of our society and if we talk about economic losses because of uh, the accident it is approximately 3% of our gdp because even the survivor they are disabled and required sometime you know lifelong care so why india trauma scenario is so grim and macabre there are multiple re- factors for high death rate or mortality due to rta apart from poor infrastructure faulty engineering of roads poor road safety law our own careless attitude towards public traffic rules one major factor responsible for high death rate is non availability of appropriate medical care to the accident victim by trained trauma doctors or professional at the time of accident or during hospitalization so when i talk about at the time of accident i am talking about pre hospital care which is very very poor and dismal in india there is no network of pre hospitalization trauma care or pre hospital ambulance network which can take care of life threatening injury at the site of accident so in next episode we will talk about the strategy the 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 guidelines the framework the outlines for improving trauma care in india this was just episode 1 for a you know a small you know just to get to know what's happening in india about about trauma and uh, as 
the statistics I have read, it is quite grim. And I hope with you, we will be able to do something. And bye for now. See you next time. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Dr. Amar Piyari.